I spent months trying to uncover a secret of my travel companion. Oh. I think you need to just tell us a little bit about the, the trip that you were on. I had met this man off the comedy circuit. In, he was from Sydney. We met in Melbourne. We got on extremely well. And we hardly had known each other very long. And we were going past the travel agency. And I said, let's go overseas together. And he said... <laughs> and he said, all right. So he went in and we got a ticket around the world. Um, and he had, he had curly hair. And I had curly hair at the time. Beautiful hair. Paul McNamee. Like that. Beautiful. Your um, hair shares a similar dimension to my hair. Let's go around the world together. <laughs> yeah, the curly headed dudes on a road. <laughs> so, but um, is, there was a rumour that his hair was a rug. He had a wig. He had a high quality well, wig. If you are going to go with the toupee, the kind of big curly version is definitely the way to go, I reckon. Yeah. Is that right because you know? Are you... <laughs> Pete, what, what's yours? <laughs> oh, no! no! Hang on! Uh... Okay. Um, Hong Kong was the first stop, and I was on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing on the plane that showed me it wasn't real. And so we I'm go. Utterly spellbound. I know. <laughs> So we get to London, we've been travelling for a while now, and um, I, I stay in a place called Tofnell Park, it's a suburb of London, and the, in the bathroom they had a holes. You could see into the bathroom, you could be... No! <laughs> Sorry? What, what could and... possibly go wrong? <laughs> and he was in there, and I thought, oh. <laughs> and I saw this. <gasps> but no. he was putting on his shower cap over his hair. <laughs> No, you reckon he was putting the wig on? Yeah. And then I found glue in clips and stuff. So I said, you got a wig? He went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should've just maybe asked him. Sadly, yes. you have to give me an answer as to whether you think it's true or a lie. Oh, the it bit felt about, so true. It feels really true, but the bit about the bathroom at the end... I don't know if you can do <coughs> sort of happy-go-lucky perving, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> that kind of feel to it. Oh, an innocent purr. Yeah. An innocent little... Yeah. I don't reckon you would have waited months. I reckon after one or two days of not knowing, mm. you would have got a bit drunk, made out with him and tried to rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the rose thorn I know! Need an answer. And the world or trip, alive. The world trip aspect of it seems like... That doesn't seem very believable. It's a believable. bit loose, isn't it? You know, so like... I feel like the, the wig story, it feels like he maybe has known somebody who's had a, who's had a wig. Dying to know. Quickly, give me an answer so that Pete I can say. I think it's true. I think it's a lie. We've got true, we've got lie. What do no. you think? We think it's try. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's a good try. It um, was a good try. No, we're going to say it's true. It's true. Peter Rose Thorne, is this story true or a lie? That was... The truth. Oh, well done. It is true, and it was big of you, Pete, to not totally wig out. <laughs> Thank you.